Hello, once I get here, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna continue the main story as doing side quests. Hi, Wings, fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy, if I ever... I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after her. I think she worries I'll do something. Whatever gave her that, I... This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers no. talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like Rebellion. there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revenia. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. Pelts. Poor beasts. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Poachers were here, all sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Rebellion. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So, what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. 
They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Revelio. Having a keen eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a nifflers on a pile of gold or a nogtail to a sow. No, uh, I'm not bragging. Because they tell us. the minister for magic himself what is going on here only one way to find out repair it Dragon fighting ring. The name makes sense now. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is. How could they possibly enjoy this? There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too... We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want.
Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. What a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Dragon Egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Revelia. All right, I have the egg. Revenge. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Ah! <laughs> 
This way. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not... And the poachers saw us, which cannot be... Since the dragon we've... I'd much rather we have it than the poachers. At least it'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect... It'd be foolish not to expect it. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger t We aren't helping ourselves, Stan. You're right. If there's anything the poachers... Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Revenia. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. So this is the underground harbour. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I... Hence, I have created a small... None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Sure. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? 
The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the... If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty... And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such... Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have... And I won't be giving you any more e- I don't have time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had... And frankly, excelling in your... Thank you, Professor. The... As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunity. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I uh, enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by wand law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. 
I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember, it'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want... I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure... Until then, well done. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, fa- <sighs> I must get to class. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born in Animagus, or did you learn? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my... I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars... I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known... The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow... Exactly. Merlin, 
I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if... That's a good idea. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to dis... It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Vic... If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably... I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect it's worthy of further... I'm ready to explore. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Lumos. Lumos! Revelio. Perhaps that was it, and the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. Opening all of these is tempting. Revelio. We're here for a reason. I'd say your reward is justified. Accio. Incendio. This room is taller than it looks. Confringo. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Read the world of another spider. I should sleep better today. Incendio!
Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often caved in. And then um, were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Them. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be... It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start... Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Rebellion. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone.
Velio. Lumos. I need to find a safe way across. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperial... Why did you learn the Imperial's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell on. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in hand. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse is? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curse, you have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell? You have a lot at stake. You have an ability. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion.
Even if spiders can make such a mess. Rebellion. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. That worked. Keep going. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revenia. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time.
Revelio. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Dead end. Lovely. All that is lovely. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revenia. The note and rendition of the relic, it matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Revelio. Especially from my uncle. Is that... ominous? Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing, it was you! You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! 
We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. 
You can't stop us. Are you quite finished? What do you think you give up? Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from it. What's he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot... Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What's... That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me 
Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you... Why, Sebastian? Revelio. So we continued some main story stuff and side story stuff and get more in depth with classmate Sebastian. So thank you all for watching. Wish you all well. See you in the next video.